This is the aquaponics unit for incredible edible cod under construction. Here you can see the uh, greenhouse on the higher level and lower down is the beginnings of a platform for fish tanks. Maybe a little closer and show you. Okay, as we get closer, you can see that there's on the lower level there's just the beginnings of a platform off of this concrete landing which is going to be to accommodate two one ton fish tanks. Fish tanks are going to be two of these which will take a thousand litres of water and accommodate uh, something like 200 small fish and 50 large. You access the greenhouse level up these steps The floor is going to be insulated. At the moment we don't have a roof, we're waiting on delivery of a thick 30 mil six chamber polycarbonate roof sheet. The glass is all double glazed, so we hope to be able to keep some warmth in. And the back wall is a heavy stone wall which will do some thermal storage. There's going to be um, a large strong shelf at the back here supported on the wall to take the uh, aquaponics, the hydroponics part of the system and the front of the greenhouse will be used for general seedling growth uh, for planting out in the spring. another angle that's the way out back downstairs there will be electrics coming out of the building just to the left of that door um, I swing round got a lovely view of the park and the hillside here so it's a nice place to be you might find me reading a newspaper in here in the summer uh, these triangular bits up here will, will be automatically opening windows so that we can get some ventilation in the summer so far I've spent less than 50 quid on this, uh, all recycled materials. The doors I bought for an earlier project which never happened, but they were salvaged, salvaged second-hand doors. The, the timbers are salvaged from house demolition just around the corner in Harley Bank, and they're Victorian timber. All I've spent money on so far is fastenings. Uh, the roof will be fairly expensive. Um, the Tanks, I have one tank, they, they cost about 50 quid for a second hand tank. And I'm going to insulate them heavily, probably with straw bales. Um, the idea is to keep the cost to the minimum and to demonstrate that this can be done in a fairly small investment and fairly simply and to get the technology into Todd so that we get people aware of how to do it and that it can be done and um, get it started. Another view of the lower platform under construction. That's going to have two layers of 5 mil thick floorboard wood on, on its side. needs to be pretty strong because it's got to take those two tons of fish tank. And then I haven't decided whether I need to enclose the lower area or not but the tanks themselves will be heavily insulated and I guess I probably will actually build an enclosure to just keep the weather out from the people getting in there and doing things with the fish